Hey, great date to you all. I hope that you've all woken up super grateful to be alive again another day in this experience. <laughs> Lucky you. I'm five. <laughs> you must be doing something, right? So I hope you're giving yourself that credit. Guys, I hope you've told yourself how amazing you are and how magical you are and how powerful you are. And you know, it would help if you decided to only contain love in your being today and harmony and balance by mere choice alone. <laughs> but I guarantee you, you can do it. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> Guys, I got an important topic to talk about this morning. And the reason why it came to me is because it has been on my brain since yesterday. Well, been on my heart since yesterday. And even this morning on a TikTok video, I had mentioned it for loving reminders. Look, it's really important for everybody to understand some things, especially when it comes to mistakes and how we view mistakes. Okay? Just like spelling and words have misled us through history, mistakes, we've been made to believe that mistakes are something that we've done wrong. So that is wrong in itself. Why? I'm going to explain it to you today. A mistake is a mistake of your learning. That means that you have just not taken the learning out of the opportunity to do so. So, a mistake is actually a warning sign for you that you must learn. And we have been constructed to believe that a mistake is something that we have done wrong. Well, guess what? We have all, each and every single one of us, missed opportunities of learning which were presented to us. Well, there is nothing wrong with that. That is a part of the game of life and the human experience. But as long as you believe within yourself that a mistake is something you have done wrong or others have been mistaken in their treatment to you. Big head. Well, then that produces results of that belief system. What do I mean by that? Well, when you feel that you have made a mistake and you believe that a mistake is something that you have done wrong, well, then that induces shame, blame, guilt, judgment, denial, and all of the lower frequency vibrations that you should not be embodying. So you are actually forcing yourself by a mere belief of what a mistake is into self-suffering. Literally. So I'm going to say it again. A mistake is merely a mistake of your learning. A mistake. So you had an opportunity to take a lesson and learning from it, and you missed it. That's all it means. So... There is no mistake that you should not see as an opportunity for you. And it's quite a contradiction to what you believe currently today about a mistake. 
and what you have been made to believe all your life about mistakes. Why? Because we look at it as mistakes. And everybody thinks mistakes are something you've done wrong. No, you've had an experience of a mistake in learning. Just like the word that we speak and give life to about impossible. Break that word down again also. I'm possible. So, because you believe that something is impossible, then you create that to be factual because your life force is supporting this belief. Now, all of these beliefs, it really means be live. So your belief of anything makes it live. This is why you must check your beliefs because it is your beliefs fueled and supported by your life force are making them alive and real and governing forces of your being factually. So, what I'd like you to do today is to break down things in a simplified fashion. Literally. And we love to complicate things. And this is why you must adopt your own belief systems. Different than what you have been originally installed with. And you can. Because whatever you believe, you are giving life to. Because believe is to be alive within your reality. Literally. So, people need to really hear the truth of it. And, you know, I'll say it again, and I'll say it because I'm being told to. It's not a joke about the reinstallation of the Tablets of Destiny. So if you have not educated yourself with the vast sea of knowledge that is accessible to you, well, that should be of your highest priority right now. Literally. Whatever you choose to believe about your own being, you are making real. Whatever you choose to believe about this experience, you are making it real. To believe something is to make it alive. And your life force Your soul, which contains every single thing within the universe, and the power of it all will support whatever you choose from your free will to make alive in your reality. So, you better check what you're making live for yourself and don't make the mis mistake 
of your learning with all the opportunities to do so. At all times. That's not about any other person, place, or thing on the planet. Your learning is essential to the evolution of humanity. Your learning is essential to the evolution of your soul. To the wisdom of your being. Don't be mistaken throughout your whole life. By believing all that you should not be. Literally. These are things you can't avoid. And this is the way it is. And yes, I am unlike another. And yes, many are called, but the cho chosen are few. Why? Because... Not many people will continue on the journey with courage and bravery because courage is the tipping point. If you don't have the courage to look at what you're doing for your own self, you will not have the courage to correct any of it. Courage is the tipping point. That's what makes me different. No matter what has arisen in my life, I have overcome it. By mere choice. Nobody has to believe in you. Nobody has to believe what you say. But understand they are producing the results of what they are making and breathing life into. Source, which is the creator of all things, the good, the bad, the beautiful, and the bold and ugly. No matter what it is, there's one source of life. The commander and king of all beings. Literally. And you all may have been fooled. But the king will continue to rule. At all costs. So you all better get right with what you are believing. To be real for yourself. Individually in your reality. Because your life force is supporting it. And it is making it real. No matter what. So this is why I tell everybody every morning, install that you are grateful and believe it. Give that life. Believe that you are more than just the experience of your life because you are. You are the entirety of the whole universe flowing through your body today. Literally. What are you doing with that? Are you mismanaging your experience? Are you mismanaging your energy? Are you mismanaging your whole experience? How? By what you are giving life to in your belief systems. That's how. What are you fueling for yourself? On a daily basis. That you are forcing your body to relive. Continuously. Not respecting that you are a brand new creation every day. Because everything's always changing. So how the fuck are you not? You get it? You must check what's going on in the basement of your house. Literally. Why do you believe what you believe? 
Why? Because again, believe, it means to be live. So whatever you believe, you are giving life to. And every idea, thought, spoken word, and action comes from that. It's not a joke. If you haven't done it up until today, you do it today. You make a commitment to yourself. Commitment to do what? To clean out all the shit that's not serving you of your highest good on the planet. For who? For you. Because it does, doesn't have anything to do with another living, breathing person on the planet. Why? Because they have their own individual experience and free will and choice. But what are you commanding into your life? Because that's how possible you are. And that's how everything is possible. Because you don't even realize what you are creating out of your power of what's possible. This is why you got to stop and take a look. Literally. And if you don't, well, then you are mistaking your own learning. What does that do? Forces you into more. Because those who don't hear must feel according to source. When you're not accepting of the lessons, don't think the lessons stop. Nah. Nah. New levels, new devils. Literally. And if you can't master your own being, well, then you can master nothing in this experience. Self-mastery is key. And what is the self-mastery? Really? Going from Internal programming to innate power. That's the true mastery. This morning I posted out of my memories a conversation that I had with a friend three years ago after my spiritual awakening. You guys all go need, need to go and check out that video because that's going to really make you understand the change. And why I tell you I'm no longer that person. That video right there is factual proof. Factual proof. Well, three years later, I sit here today more powerful than I've ever been in my life. Because I've been leading and led and operated from soul since then. This is not new to me. And no matter what I lived in with that relationship and how brutal it was, that was my final test on this fucking earth was whether I was going to choose self-love or self-destruction. Well, I chose self-love and love for humanity. And that's why I'm sitting here more powerful than I've ever been in my life. Even after a heart attack, even after flesh-eating disease, even after all that shit, it no longer exists. Neither does that fucking brutal relationship that I had to live as my final test on this earth. Literally. That's why from this moment on, I create by thought alone. Literally. And by me coming out and just speaking what I do into this world, I am shifting it already. And that's what you guys all don't get. Oh, why does Toby do the lives? Oh, why does Toby always come out and speak? Why? Because every time I breathe in this experience, it gets shifted. That's why. So that's what I will continue to do because that is what my soul's mission is here to do. And that's why there's a lot of people called but the chosen are few because, hey, they touch the fire and can't take the heat. 
Me, I go through it like bring it on. I'm the one for this. I didn't sign up for this for nothing. Well, now I'm fully empowered and in my rightful state. Just the same way everybody else should be. Well, do you want to go from internal programming to innate power? Holler! Because if there's anybody that can show you how to do it, it is somebody in their full power. And I want minimum a million people on the planet to be back in power. This year alone, that is my intent. And with the power of the universe behind me, that is a very minimal goal in comparison to what is expected of my soul to accomplish. And I'm highly aware of that too. So, guys, you got to feel the shit and the fire to get out of it. But if you won't even face your own fire, well, see, that's why the tipping point is courage. And it takes a brave soul to look at itself and look at the experience and correct not only thyself, but correct and have the courage to correct the whole grid of it. Well, just by me believing that I alone can change the world? Well, the whole universe supports that. This is why I say I'm on a mission to shift the planet. And I believe it with every ounce of my soul and with the universe backing me. This is why it only takes one empowered empath to do it. One. Well, as powerful as I am and everything that I believe and I breathe life into, it's happening. Why? Because I have the whole universe backing what I believe. Well, I believe that I am going to change this fucking planet. And every single person on it that needs correction. And that's why I've been in training all my life for this. And no matter what fire I'm thrown into, I do not lose my faith. I've been dancing with the devil since my first fucking breath in this experience. That's why the chosen are few. Because their encounters, they get scared and they have no courage. I am not scared of not a goddamn thing on the planet because of the universal power that's fueling me life. People think it's, oh, you have no fear. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nah, I don't. Why? Huh. I understand that this density is mere hell. I understand that this system of the way of life is mere hell. I understand that the day that I'm released from this experience... There's no longer help. So am I scared to speak the truth? No, I'm on a mission to do just that. Soulfully governed. When I say that I am a vessel for source on the planet, it is because I am. I speak truth. Why would I be lying about that? Well, that's what makes 
many called, but the chosen few. Because everybody gets stuck in their past and in the pain of it all. And relive it every single day, believing what their programming is telling them, totally disconnected from their power. Well, I am not that one. Not that one. I am connected and sourced by the Most High, the source of all creation. Just like every single one of us are. The difference with me is I am not living an illusion. And I understand what I believe. And I give life and my life force supports it. And my life force contains everything and anything ever created in this fucking experience. Who could stop me? Nothing. So, my mission is to shift the planet at any cost. Because that's got nothing to do with money and no amount of money can stop me. And yes, money should be, there should be no classes of citizens. Because source says we are all equals. We have all been created the same. But it's the system that we're living in and the life we're living in that has created disharmony, zero equality, a system of suffering, and a system of slavery. Well, it's the golden age this year and all that truth is coming to light. Because the truth cannot be hidden any longer. Everybody's all convinced on the planet. Oh, the return of Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're all sadly mistaken because Christ consciousness is already here. Get real with it. And guess what? That kind of consciousness? Yes. Can perform and make anything possible on the planet. Because it's in full power. Well. There is no returning of Christ. Christ consciousness is already on the planet. And has been for a very long time. And there are many that are walking around with this consciousness. So, the system that has kept you in disillusion and kept you distorted is going to make you believe the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is already here in each and every one of us who have tapped in to source. So everybody thinks, oh, the coming of Jesus Christ. Oh, no. It's already here. And nothing can stop it this round. And Christ consciousness cannot be sacrificed by the system when there are so many of us walking around with it. And that's why when you are tapped in and in like with the source of your creation, when people go up against you, they are going up against the Most High. Well, Source doesn't like that either. Trust that. And that's why I am like walking karma for anybody. It's not because I'm better than anybody. 
It's because I have done the work to allow Source to govern my being. So when you go up against me, you go up against Source. Literally. I know how powerful I am. And I know the shift that's needed on the planet. That is why I have now been unveiled to the world. Because according to Source, I have been hidden in plain sight my whole life. But my name, Toby, that means God is good? Huh. Source is going to show everybody through me how great Source really is. And that's why many are called, but the chosen are few, because not many can do what I've done. That's why just me speaking into this experience the way that I do is already shifting the planet. That's why those that go up against me are going up against Source. Literally. And don't even realize it. And that is why I am not to retaliate. Because I leave it to Source to handle. It knows all. Source doesn't want any of us to feel unloved, uncared about. Source loves you enough that you're breathing today. Because that is the great king and commander of the whole experience. Nothing but. There is one source of creation that knows everything. And it's not a joke. Well, Source is no longer playing. It is universal correction time. What's going on on this planet? Yeah. Well, I'm here to assist with that. And I know that. And there's not a person, place, or thing that can tell me different or attempt to stop me. Because if they do, they're going up against the source of creation. That's your free will too. And I don't need any help to do it. Because what's fueling me to do it is the source of all creation. Guys, you matter. You're loved. You matter so much that you are here today. You may not think that you're significant in the world and you may not feel like you're doing enough or you may not, you may feel as if you're not where you want to be. It's because of what you believe that is keeping you shackled to that. How do you know what you believe you need to go and do the work inside? You need to go back to when you were a small child. Because those are the first blockages. Those are the root of all the problems. Everything else after that has been a mere result of those initial beliefs that have been put in you because, I'll say it again, a belief is to be live in your experience. And your life force is fueling that. It doesn't matter who you are and what you have done. Because my rap sheet is the accumulation of my life. If I was not loved unconditionally, I would have never, never been able to tap in to source. And I have. And I allow Source to govern my life every day.
at this point. And I come out here and I speak exactly what I am being channeled to say. There's no thoughts attached to that. I don't think about it. I don't prepare my lives, nor do I edit them, nor do I change them, nothing. It is the real, raw, sourceful truth. Why do people edit their shit? Why do people, do? because they're worried. Oh, people are gonna judge it. Oh, people this, ah, bah, 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 bah. Fuck no, it comes out and it's said the way it should. Well, I have the courage to do that. Not many do. That's what makes me different. That's why I've been chosen. Out of the many that were called. Because I respect and honor and cherish the true king. The real true king. Not the illusion of the king on the planet. That's what makes me different. Literally. And that's where I'll stay. Because it's a great, great place to be. I love you all. And I hope you felt the intensity of this live because it was meant to be just that for you. Life altering. Just like every one of my rude awakening lives are meant to be. They are meant to touch your inner core and awaken your soul within you. Because that is the truest power within this grand performance. If you need to figure out how to go from internal programming to innate power, holler. I've mastered it. I've functioned from it. And I'm not out here to have you sell your soul to some debt to me. To teach you how to do it. Either. I love you all. Set that high vibe. Be careful what you are making real today. You got that free will. But you don't, you don't have the, you know, you got the free will to make whatever choices that you want in your day, but you are not free from the choices that you make today of the governance of your being and your true power and life force of your being. Literally. I hope and pray that you embrace and embody your power. And that is what I hope and pray for for every single person on this planet. Daily. And the more I hope and pray and put my life force into that, the more it's going to happen. Literally, as everybody wakes up. Because that's how it's going to be. I love you all. Get the most out of your day. Set that high vibe and be careful what you are creating in your experience. And don't think because you don't give a shit that Source doesn't. Also because he does. And not even he. I can't say that. Listen. The true governance sees and knows all. And you are accountable for every choice and decision you make in your life experience at the end of it. Govern yourself accordingly today. Because you're either thriving and loving yourself and loving your life and humanity and everybody in it, or you are self-destructing with every breath according to what you believe so what you are making live in your life self-awareness is key and correction is due 
literally. And I'm not about to teach people how to uh, create a dream life or make millions of bucks. No, I'm about to teach people how to get back in their power. <laughs> totally different story. And not for three to five days. For the rest of their fucking life. It's due. Well, I have the courage to do just that. Why wouldn't I? I know source. And I know what's fueling me. And it's the whole goddamn universe. All of it. So how can it not be possible? <laughs> yeah, remember, eh? What we believe we make possible. Well, I believe that I can shift this whole planet and put every single person on the planet back into their power. You see where I'm coming from? It's not just an idea and a thought and a belief. No, I am breathing it life into this experience with my full power. And I know the power of that. And that's why I must speak it and make it real in this reality every day and not just for me but for every single breathing creature on the planet I love you all oh and you know something if you guys really want to see my reaction to after I met my soul I posted the video to my page openly and I posted it to my story openly so people really want to see factually where the old Toby died it was three years ago. Go look at it. That's visual reference and proof that Toby and her experience no longer exists. I am the Toby now representing what my name means, which is God is good. So, I'm about to prove to the world how great Source really is. Yeah. And how you can change the planet without not even a dollar to your name. Because I'm doing it. just got to believe it to be possible and you make it all happen Whew. literally I love you all have a great day peace